Happy Saturday everyone! So I have some exciting news. I will finally be sharing with you the makeover video for my office. And I know this has been a uh, long due, but it's just been a little bit hard to finish that makeover because Bendik has been working non-stop in there the last months. But now I am finally finished with it um, and I really look forward to showing you guys. But to like share this makeover video, we have to kind of rewind quite a bit to like when we moved in here, because that was actually when I started this makeover. Those of you who have followed me for a while know that we started renting a house in the countryside of Norway last summer. And we started doing some makeovers on the house quite immediately. And my plan was to share my office makeover with you during the summer. But halfway through that process, I started encountering some problems and having some second thoughts. And in the end, it just took way longer than I had planned. Welcome to my first office space. Uh, that I will be working on a little bit today. This is the first time we have been living in a house ever and uh, it's amazing and this is of course a house that we are renting which means that we cannot do whatever we want with this house of course uh, but it doesn't really matter because we can still make it our own in a way and it's a good way to actually learn what you what you like and what you don't like. So today I decided I need to focus on the room that is the most urgent and that is my workspace because I need to get started working again now. I have a lot of things to do. So yeah, we need to work on this room. As you see, there is a color on the walls here that is sort of yellow. <laughs> it looks kind of nice this way. It's like more light from the windows over here and it more changes into this more calm yellow color but on this side it looks kind of neon and when it gets dark outside it gets even more neon and I mean I'm gonna be working here in the winter you know it gets dark pretty fast it's like this in Norway so I think I will have to paint so it's pretty cold in the winter and they put up like a blanket on here or carpet on here and um, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do about it. I don't think it's the most pretty thing in the world but at the same time... So if I... <laughs> and then there is this beautiful floor underneath. But I think if I was going to have just a floor I would have to do something about it because it's full of these spots. I don't know. And then you see it gets much brighter with the carpet and also it's definitely warmer. And then of course we need some furniture, we need some stuff on the walls and I have so many things that I finally can have like place for. There are so many things for my foraging, for my editing, for my like filming, my equipment, everything and all my books. Oh my god, all my books are gonna have like a place now. These uh, cupboards lockers. I don't know. You get it. They have a lot of storage space, which is great. I think this one will have to go. It's a little bit too big for our bedroom. And now I'm going to the painting shop. I don't think I will bring you because it's just a bit awkward going around there with the camera, but I'll see you soon. trying to paint the wall a little bit to just check out what it looks like white because I don't really know if I want to choose like a more green color or if I want white just white and yeah also painted myself as you can see ah, I think it goes away with water <laughs> I'm gonna try <laughs> I don't think that works 
When I eventually decided on the paint, we decided to take out the carpet to see how it would look. One of my best friends, Martin, came to visit and he helped me out a lot with painting. Ja, det stora, ja. So it's a sort of drafty room, this place. There's a lot of places here where there are cracks between the floor and, and the walls because it's old. It's just what happens with old houses. I decided to try to use, because my socks are 100% wool and actually wool can sometimes be a good material for isolating old houses. And since this is inside, I decided I'm just gonna stuff some of my old socks in there. So I've been cutting this. Will be nice in the winter, I'm sure. So I hope that the wool would help with the cold in the winter and that I wouldn't need the carpet on the floor. But what I ended up doing with the floor is maybe not the most satisfying thing. I tried to sand it, but the job was just too big for just being a rental home. So eventually I decided to just scrub it really thoroughly and remove as much of the paint stains that I could. <sighs> I am going to call this finished, not perfect. Another kind of big problem that we tackled was this hole in the wall that was there because there had been a chimney before. So the people that lived here before us had just stuffed the hole with a vase or put tape over it. But we didn't think that looked very nice, so Bendik came up with a genius solution where he put one plank across inside the hole and then he made a rounded plank that he screwed on top of that. Yeah, so we found the skeleton of a rat in there. <laughs> it was super nasty. <laughs> then we sparkled over that again and yeah. It actually worked out. <laughs> so now this thing is finally dry and we also sanded it down a little bit. So I'm going to finish the work that I started.
our house owners offered us to buy a carpet that we liked since we were doing so much work on the house and I chose this one that is 100% wool and I hoped it would be really warm in the winter. Then I got myself this wood board that I turned into a desk. At this point I was really happy with how the office looked, but there were a few things that had to go in there and that was when I started to have some second thoughts. It just felt like whatever I put inside the room was being eaten by the blue wall. I wanted my office to mirror what I'm doing in my work, which is a lot about foraging and plants. So I decided to put some of my favorite plants up on the wall. This was when the decor mess really started. I really couldn't decide on the placement of the things that I got. I tried many different things, but it just felt like it never was really working out. And I started feeling like it was actually about the color of the wall. And I was starting to think I wanted to change it, but I had to start working at this point, so I couldn't really spend my time painting the wall sure. anymore. Yeah. I would maybe paint everything white on that wall. I was just, when I was standing here talking about it now, I was suddenly thinking that maybe I should just paint all of the walls white, and then this should be blue. <laughs> It will be an accent wall, you know? Yeah. One thing I am quite happy about is how I put up these plant coloring samples inside my cabinet because then they will not be damaged by the light. And it's very practical to write down what you did when you colored with plants and take a sample from it and put it up in the library so you will remember how you did it.
welcome to the current state of the office. So it's been like this for about half a year now and I kind of really liked it in the beginning when it was summer but now as it has been winter and it's been so dark outside I ended up just not really enjoying this really dark color of the wall. I have so much paint so I was thinking that I would try to see if I could do something about it, maybe brighten it a little bit, maybe try to mix some white color with some of the other colors that I have and just see if it will be nicer. Uh, I guess, I, and now I also have a lot of this color left so I can paint over it if I don't like it, so. I don't know if I will include it, but I actually kind of tried different things here and this is kind of what I ended up with. So this chair is really cool, but it doesn't really fit with the colors of the wall. And I also love this plant, but it's, yeah, taking up a lot of space. Kind of like this uh, sort of pedestal table thing. Uh, that's just something that our neighbors had in their basement. And then there's this beautiful wall carpet here. Uh, and I put that up actually because there is not the best sound in this room. There is a lot of echo. There are not that many soft materials to absorb the sound. Since I work here with the microphone and the voiceover, I try to just see if this will work to help a little bit with the sound. And then there's this door that I definitely am going to paint. And then we have this beautiful shelf that we found in the flea market. It's kind of amazing how well it fits in this, this little nook of the, of the room. My yarn here and then a lot of books and yeah, notebooks and stuff. I, I kind of like this setup. It's a little bit messy, but it's still kind of me, so. And I just edited a video the whole day until now and it's about seven, oh no, it's about eight o'clock. My plan is to kind of test out some paint tomorrow. And the first thing I'm gonna do is to try and maybe paint this whole wall here where you have the, the lockers or cupboards or I don't know. I don't even know what you would call these guys, but the white ones. <laughs> I will paint the wall beneath them so, not, so that they are kind of not so prevalent. really wants to catch this bird so he gets really frustrated right now. He's just running around in circles climbing up trees and climbing down again. <laughs> Figured out that it was a grönspett, uh, but I don't know the English name. Maybe I'll just put it down here. Alright, but now it's time to get to work. So nice that we can have the window open now and it's still warm inside. That's a spring feeling.
finished most of the wall in my office yesterday and I'm almost a little bit scared now to go in there to see how it looks in daylight because I finished it in the dark so I might have done something uh, a bit weird but let's see <sighs> no you know what I really like it I think it fits better with the roof than the color that I had before. The only boring thing is that it looks a little bit similar to the color of our bedroom. You can see it on the door here. This is the bedroom color. You can see it there. And this is the office. But I mean, it's still different though. And this is what the color looked like before. It's the last little stretch there. And you can see that it didn't fit as well with the roof. So the update is that I have painted the whole wall now and I am going to go over all the places where I kind of spilled the blue paint and just uh, cover it up with the white paint. I have stopped using tape because I'm too impatient to wait for the paint to dry so that I can put on the tape without it destroying the paint. So I have started using just this little pencil. And it really works. I think it takes just as much time. Alright everyone, the office is officially finished and uh, yeah, except like a few small details that I will be working on. Maybe you can help me with it, I will see. But let's take a look at it. I am not a raincoat here to keep you warm, but go back in the closet the storm I'm not a match simply waiting to burn all I am is a friend your friend till the end I'm not your impression of a city you wish you loved more than everything To criticize the risk All I am is a friend Your friend till the end All I am is a friend I still have not figured out the corner of this room. I've taken the carpet down for now. But I'm hoping I will figure it out eventually and maybe I will share it in a later video with you guys. For now I'm just really happy to be sitting there drinking my coffee and even though it took me some time to complete it I am super stoked about how this office looks now and it is so nice to just be able to have my own office for the first time in my life. It really makes such a difference to my work. And while I'm sitting here in my office editing this video I just wanted to say thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. I am